Thanks to cameras at a Denver gun shop, a man was caught walking out with boxes of guns and ammo. And thanks to the driver's license camera at Colorado's DMV, federal investigators got a lead on a suspect now identified in court documents as Brian Enriquez. Investigators plugged in gun shop images into the DMV's facial recognition program. The technology has been a tool for Colorado police. I would say that facial recognition of all of the uh, biometric technologies has come uh, light years. David Shipley is the director of the Colorado Information Sharing Consortium. His law enforcement group runs its own facial recognition photo database separate from the DMV, made up of photos like mugshots. He cannot speak directly to how police use the DMV for facial recognition, but says police typically do not rely on the technology to make their whole case. That it's not the end all be all, nor is it the answer. It is simply a lead. Records we've obtained from the Colorado DMV show police are using it more to try and find suspects. The state would not provide data for each calendar year, but in classic government fashion gave us numbers per fiscal year. Four years ago, police used it 42 times. This past year, 157. Do you think there's enough gu guidelines right now or guardrails in line right now to protect the public when it comes to, to this technology and the use by law enforcement? Well, I, I think the short answer is no. State Senator Chris Hansen sponsored a facial recognition bill in 2022 that puts some limits on law enforcement's use of the technology. Agencies must have written policies and training guidelines before using it. He says a state task force is currently looking at how police keep records. But we want to make sure that we don't have too much surveillance or inappropriate use of the technology. And so that's where we'll continue to work with the task force. Anaya Robinson with the ACLU in Colorado sits on that task force. I don't think that the transparency is there. Um, and I think that the regulations that we do currently have in place, um, it's questionable as to whether or not law enforcement agencies are currently following that. And out of the 465 times police agencies have tapped into the DMV database since 2019, only about a third of the time did they get a possible match. So the tech is not 100% accurate. Yeah, it's not only not 100% accurate, what you talked about is how it's being used, I think, is what most people are concerned about. Yeah, it's how it's being used, and according to state law, Investigators cannot rely their entire case just based on one match. It's only a lead. It's a starting point. All right, Jeremy, thanks. Yeah.